Hey, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, guys. Welcome to Super Days with Super Dave. I'm your host, Super Dave, director of training at the Best Life Creation Society. Um, I'm really excited because <clears throat> I'm feeling so good. Um, just got off some amazing training. Um, really, really feeling inspired to read something out of this beautiful book. It's called Getting Into the Vortex. Um, I read it in class today, and it was really, really powerful. And um, there's a very powerful piece in there about relationships and appreciation. And so um, I'm really, really thrilled that we're going to be talking about this real quick. Um, appreciation is really powerful. Really, really powerful. And uh, yeah. Like, just really, really powerful. So, hi, Tammy. Hi, Jen. Happy day. Um, and it's right in alignment with, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but we have an event uh, next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, Align and Shine, Denver, Colorado. Um, yeah, it's going to be absolutely amazing. So, Yowza is right, Jen. Um, I'm feeling the yowza too. too. Uh, very, very exciting. Beautiful expansions happening everywhere you look. Um, hope you're feeling that in your own life. Whether you're here in... Um, the West, whether you're in Canada, whether you're in Mexico, whether you're somewhere in Europe, Kosovo, Albania, Australia, wherever you are, hope that you're wonderfully feeling it. Um, cause I, I heard something today and I was like, I just, it's going to feel really good just to read that again, because it's just so in, in alignment with everything we're talking about. Um, and, you know, with the time of the seasons changing and everything like this, I think it's a good reminder because sometimes people feel like, uh oh, I need to do more. You know, the weather's getting nicer and I, and I better hurry up. And I'm here to tell you guys that with everything that we train in Best Life and just from my personal perspective, you're doing great. You're doing awesome. You're doing fantastic. Everything you're doing is perfect. Everything is for you. Uh, you can only do it right. Um, and as cliche as those things might be um they're the truth because in best life we talk about you being tapped in tuned in and turned on to the unlimitedness of who you truly are and that unlimitedness only sees perfection only comes from loving tones only sees you in this unconditionally loving space so i wanted to read this hey scott um i wanted to read this to you guys because um it just resonates <laughs> frankly and, um, you know, it's a beautiful day. Um, you know, I got to experience some wonderful contrast from yesterday to today. Yesterday, guys, it was 44 degrees. Today, it's 74. So that's the fluctuations that we have in Colorado. So you got to love it. But, um, again, this is from Getting Into the Vortex by Esther and Jerry Hicks. Whoops. Didn't want to get the glare on it. Highly recommend this book, guys. It is so spot on. <laughs> so amazing. Go up, comes with a guided meditation CD, but also just amazing. Um, but there's different meditations in this book. Um, and I don't really read when I do my uh, Super Days of Super Dave, but I was just feeling this very, very strongly. So I wanted to just read this to you guys. So here it is. Um, oh, hey, Tommy, happy day. Happy, happy day. Um, it says this. This is from the relationships part. It says, you're doing extremely well. The relationships that you seek are flowing to you. Relax and enjoy the unfolding. Feel appreciation, right? There's appreciation we we're talking about for what is and eagerness for what is coming. There's great love here for you. And as always, we remain in the vortex, right? That's from Abraham's perspective. But then I love this expansion that Abraham comes apart with. It says, you come forth into this physical time space reality with billions, get this, with billions of other humans understanding the immense value that you offer to each other and to all that is. The splendor and richness of the relationships that you will find with others with whom you share this planet hinges completely on the relationship that you deliberately foster between the physical you and the non-physical counterpart, your inner being. Yeah, guys, I got to tell you something that was really, really powerful too. Earlier this week, um, I went out to eat and out of nowhere, this guy just comes up and just starts talking to me. And I'm like, oh, well, hi. And we proceeded to have lunch together and uh, it was really, really great interaction. But he said something that I thought was very interesting. He said, you must have people come up to you all the time. And I'll tell you guys something interesting. It's the first time that's happened to me, really. 
And I know it's because of my own individual alignment with who I am. And we have to remember that when we're in our own aligned space, we are our most influential and other people can feel that alignment. They can feel that freedom. They can feel that shinement. It's one of the major reasons why the event that we're doing next week is called Align and Shine. Because it's about you finding your own alignment with who you truly are. Not because Super Dave says so, not because Tony Robbins says so, not because someone says so, but because you says so. And because you get to feel what feels best for you. And that is so empowering right there. So I'm going to continue on. It says this. It says, I'll read that last sentence again. It says, uh, that's a long sentence. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. The splendor and richness of the relationships that you will find with others with whom you share this planet hinges completely on the relationship that you deliberately foster between the physical you and the non-physical counterpart, your inner being. I love that. Your inner being demonstrates a never-ending willingness to continue seeing only your value and goodness, holding that vibration as a place marker for when you, for, for you whenever you are ready to align with it, seeing you there even when you do not see it. So yeah, guys, guess what? Even when you're feeling frustrated, inner being doesn't see it that way. Even if you're noticing that things aren't going the way that you anticipated, inner being doesn't see it that way. If you ever feel like you've been short shrifted or something like that, or someone's taken advantage of you, inner being doesn't see it that way. Inner being only sees the perfection in you. Inner being only sees it in that beautiful space of satisfaction and above as things being perfect, as things being wonderfully aligned. So just something to consider. It says here, it says, we take enormous pleasure in offering these law-based universal concepts to you in a logical presentation because we know the pleasure you will find when you discover your pure resonance with them. Oh, I love hearing that again. I just read it in class today, but I love hearing it again. And, you know, even though I'm here reading it, it's it's so nice. It's just so nice to, to hear it again, beautifully. It says, we take enormous pleasure in offering these law-based universal concepts to you in a logical presentation because we know the pleasure you will find when you discover your pure resonance with them. Can you guys feel that? Isn't that powerful? Happy day, Tommy. Happy, happy day. And happy day, everyone. Um, I just love hearing that. I love feeling that. I love experiencing that. Isn't it fun to know, guys, that it's not about doing things. It's about what feels good to you. It's not about reading things necessarily it's about what feels good to you isn't it fun to know that it's like what are you feeling when you're reading what are you feeling of what you're seeing what are you feeling of what you're listening to what are you feeling of what you're tasting touching smelling what does it feel how do you feel what are you feeling it's all about feeling so we also take enormous pleasure in understanding that there is nothing in all the universe more natural than for you to feel good hey there it is right there again it says, it says right there. And that none of the words that we have offered here in this book are necessary in order for you to bring that about. Yeah, isn't that awesome? In order for you to feel good, you don't even have to take what I'm saying. You don't have to listen to what Abraham's saying necessarily. You are so free to feel good right now to just do it. And if feeling good is too far of a stretch, you have the beautiful freedom to feel a little bit better. If you're feeling poo-poo, like I said to one of my beautiful um, uh, besties that I was working with, you have the freedom to feel a little less poo-poo. Isn't that powerful? If you're feeling good, you have the ability to feel a little more good. If you're feeling irritated, you have the ability to feel a little less irritated. Right? Do you see what's happening here? It's like when it's on the vibrational space of things that are dissatisfying, it's feeling less of those vibrations and more of what you're wanting. If it's in a space of satisfaction, it's feeling more of those particular vibrations. It's just so awesome. Jen just says, you are an amazing bright light. Thanks, Jen. I feel like an amazing bright light. That's what's so amazing about this. It's just, it's hard to describe really is what it is. So let me get back to the uh, um, last page here because this is really powerful. Um, and obviously they're talking about the meditation, but I really wanted to read this because you can use this universally. So um, take a listen to this. It says, if the only decision that we have inspired as a result of the written and recorded messages, right? Because they're referring to the um, to this meditation and all the meditations in this book. If the only decision that we were inspired as a result of the written and recorded message that we have offered here is that you sit each day for 15 minutes only 
while breathing to the rhythm of the music, focusing softly with the intention of blending your breaths one by one with the tempo of the music in the background, that will be enough. Enough for you to, to release all resistance and discomfort, all illness, all loneliness, all unwantedness, as you feel that being replaced by breath by breath with the clarity, vitality, ease, flow, and love of your source within you. There is great love here for you. Wow. Wow. There it is. Right there. Wow. Right there. That's it. You know, that's all you need. It's it's just about understanding and having the beautiful appreciation for who we are and our relationship with our own inner being. And when we have that appreciation with our own inner being, it's so easy to have appreciation for everyone out there. It's so easy easy to have appreciation for the people with contrasting beliefs it's so easy to have appreciation for those in our family member that maybe know exactly how to push our buttons it's so easy to have appreciation for people in our life maybe our spouse or significant other or family or friends that know exactly what to say to give us into a space where we have such clarity on what we don't want and then we have the beautiful freedom to focus on what we do want. Or we do have the freedom to continue to focus on what we don't want. Isn't that exciting? We do have that free will. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I'd rather focus on what I want. I'd rather go, I don't need to justify why I want to feel good. I can just feel good. There's no reason for me to criticize why others should feel good. I'm just going to feel good. Even case in point, I met this wonderful gentleman. His name was Casey. Whether I hear from him or not does not make a dependentness on what I feel and how good I can feel. This is so, so powerful, guys. And when we really take this in for ourselves, just like with all the training that we do in Best Life for our members, and also even if you're not a member, when you come to our workshop, we hope you feel this. We hope you feel your own alignment. We hope you feel your own mm, shinement, your own connection, your own resonance, your own love with you, with yourself. Not with me, but with yourself. Because once you feel that, I really feel you guys will be like, man, I, why would I want anything else? Not only is this simple, but it's so wonderfully rewarding. And there's just so, 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 so much more where all this came from. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to read a couple comments, but I'm going to be wrapping it up here in a second. Let's see if Jen says, this is so powerful and it feels so good to hear and feel the truth you are sharing. Super Dave. Thanks, Jen. It feels good to speak truth. It feels good to speak alignment. It feels good to speak in a way and in a manner that is ideally resonant with all of you guys. You know, we came to this planet to want to feel good and to expand and delight in the variety and the contrast that we are here on this planet. I'll give it to you guys in this perspective. If we came here and we were all the same vibration, after a while, we would all get really bored with each other. Yeah, we would. Because isn't it so awesome that that person can be calm and that person can be blissful? And you can do that too. But... If there's times when you're experiencing contrast, you are free to feel that. But isn't it also nice to know that we're so free, we can choose bondage. But we're also so free that we can continue to choose more freedom. That's how amazing and awesome and, and incredible we all are. It's just so, so awesome. So, so yeah, I'm just feeling it right now. And I'm going to continue to feel it. I hope you guys are feeling it. Um, if this resonates with you, feel free to share this with who ever you want um you can find us on facebook obviously um we're also on youtube just type in best life creation society and feel free to subscribe to us there we're also on instagram feel free to follow us there again best life creation society pretty easy to find all of us on all of that and um yeah and we have an event coming up in denver next weekend i'm so so excited here in my beautiful stomping grounds of denver uh it'll be the denver hyatt Hy Hy regency hotel couldn't say that very well but that's all right um, it's gonna be a great time. Um, if you want to register for the event, just go to bestlifecreationsociety.com/events, and um, yeah, 
Um, but I just love you guys so, so much. Um, sometimes with energy, there's not the proper wording because we're talking with a universal language. So even if you don't understand all of my words, I hope you can feel my energy through my eyes, through my soul, through everything that I'm doing my best, you know, with words to express to you on an energetic level. But I will say this, you're doing everything perfectly. Everything that you're doing is amazing. Everything that you're feeling in this moment is perfect. Trust what you're feeling. Trust and know that what you're feeling is perfect. You don't need to push on any feeling. You don't need to push on any goal. You are free to just allow things to express and allow things to wonderfully unfold and just watch and see before you the miracles that basically happen right before your eyes. It will astound you. And the fun thing about it is that there's no end to the amazement and the astoundment that you can have. You know, I thought when I first learned about my own alignment that I thought I'm going to get bored with feeling good. It can't happen because just when you think you can feel good, you can always feel even a little bit better. So I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have an amazing day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Again, if this feels free or excuse me, if it feels good um, and you resonate with this, feel free to share it with anyone. Uh, we love you dearly. And uh, until we speak again, this is Super Dave, Director of Training with Best Life, saying, until we speak again, may you make your best life with best life. I love you so much, and we'll talk soon. Bye, guys. Happy day. Go feel aligned. It's fun.